New information tonight on the investigation into a deadly house fire in Muscle Shoals. Investigators are now trying to determine if smoke detectors were working when that fire started. It happened at a home on Dearborn Avenue early Saturday morning, and it killed a grandmother and her grandson. Way 31's Brecken Terry shows us how fire officials are urging people to check their smoke detectors. Muscle Shoals firefighters tell me the fatal fire started in the kitchen of this Dearborn Avenue home, then spread. Investigators tell me they know there was a smoke detector in the house, but it's unclear if it was working. I had to bring it out the window. Oh, that's what really got me all set. Muscle Shoals firefighters did everything they could to rescue 96 year old Glenna Carney and her 54 year old grandson, Anthony Burcham. Rosa Smith lives down the road and says she was close with both of them. That's my best friend. Burcham and Carney were both taken to the hospital and later died from their injuries. But anytime we have to uh, face any kind of situation like this, it's tough on everybody involved. Muscle Shoals Fire Investigator Brian Stafford said they have ruled the fire as an accident and believe it could have been cooking related. We do know that the smoke alarm was present. However, it's unclear if the alarm itself was operable at the time of the fire. Stafford is urging people to check their smoke detectors and have a plan in place if a fire starts in your home. It's tragic when we have to deal with these kind of situations, but anything we can prevent or help raise awareness for the public. And, you know, smoke alarms are, are cheap compared to a life. If you need your smoke alarm checked, the fire department tells us they're happy to assist people with that. In Muscle Shoals, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. And there are ways you can get a free smoke detector from the state. And we have that information on our website. Just go to waytv.com.